what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are watching a movie okay i said to myself i got a couple hours to burn let's make it a movie for the last reaction of the year um you guys know that i won't be coming back until next week right yeah next week saturday <laughs> so this is the last reaction. I know you guys are probably going to see this maybe on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas Day. I don't know yet. It's whenever I get to edit this or whatever. But this movie here is called A Silent Voice. Um, now, its counterpart, which is in competition for the GOAT of anime movies. Your Name. I did a reaction back in September. Um, been a while since I did a movie. Well, no, actually, no, not a while since I did a movie. I think I did a, I did uh, Into the Spider Verse at some point. Um, after that, so great movie. Your name gave it a ten out of ten, not because it was flawless, but because of everything encompassing the sound design, the design, the rewatchability. You guys know all I rate stuff around here. So I enjoyed that movie very much. So and and. Um, I'm hoping that I enjoy this also. I'm one for I love me some romance. Um, I love to watch romantic movies. I'm a huge fan of romantic movies. Not because I'm a sissy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So it's not because of that. Of any kind. I just enjoy watching those kind of movies. I enjoy every other type of movie too. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll watch anything if it's enjoyable. You know. Um, I like to watch these movies because they put... A, a lot of things into perspective and they also you know help you to keep that love going you know what I'm saying that love going make you appreciate your significant other too if you have one um, a lot more and you know kind of help you to understand certain things about how tough it is because I know how tough it is to actually find something that's actually real and to portray that in you know in the span of an out between an hour and a half to two hours is it's not an easy thing to do so anytime anytime somebody writes a story and portrays that I want to see how they do it because love takes a long time to develop love is not just you know something that you just throw against the wall and see if it sticks it just it doesn't work like that so it, there's a lot more that goes into it especially when you're going to talk about a relationship in general it just so much more that goes into it is not just love love alone can't maintain any relationship don't want to get too much into that but you uh, uh, um, understanding from that perspective so these two movies are in competition for the number one anime movie of all time I have not seen this one yet so I can't tell you which one is better me giving your name a 10 out of 10 this movie probably gonna end up being a 10 out of 10 too for me but i will give you guys my honest opinion which one of these movies i think was better at the end don't come for me in the comment section it's just my opinion okay um so we're gonna go watch the movie of course as i said you guys know the format over here i'm gonna try my very best to get this up on youtube for you guys um but that's probably going to come later i don't know if i want to get this movie out before the end of the year <laughs> that is i'm gonna have to just put it on the google drive and just let it ride for now and then later on i might put an edited version up on youtube you know by going through the rigmarola of the youtube algorithm allowing me to upload some of it right so we'll see how that goes because sometimes people just want the condensed version they don't want to spend two hours seeing my reaction so i'll do that if necessary um i will do that i'm gonna try my best to do that so a silent voice we're gonna go watch that and as i said if it's a google drive you already know the format if you if you're just coming to the channel to watch this movie or see my reaction to this movie the link will be down in the description go to the google drive and watch it and then you come back here for my review that is how we do it over here for most of our um, reactions over here i know some people don't like that format but it is what it is you get what i'm saying like i do not have 
the patience sometimes to sit down and go through, you know, re upload and it gets blocked and then I have to edit the video again, render out again and then upload again to get it blocked. Like it's tr it's too time consuming and this man here, Terabyte Reacts don't have that kind of time. Maybe other reactors have that kind of time, but I do not. Okay? And it's not laziness. I just don't have the time, guys. But at any any, any time you guys um, want to see that, that's why I said later on we you might get an edited version up on the channel. But for now, it's the same format. Go to the Google Drive, watch the reaction, come back here. I'll have a, an extensive review for the movie for you. But we'll see. I'll, I'll look at some other channels to see how they do movies when they do it. Um, and see if I can emulate some of the stuff that they do and see if we can get that upload for you guys but we'll see how it goes anyways we're gonna go watch the movie and then I will see you back here for the review Wow 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 so all I can say is wow so let me off the bat I'm not gonna cookie cut it off the bat I'm gonna let you guys know this and, and this is not a doubt in my mind halfway through the movie I know I was gonna say this in my review it is a better movie than your name and and that's me objectively speaking that is not me subjectively speaking from a technical point of view, it is a better movie. From a subjective point of view, it is a better movie for me. And I'm going to point out the things that they did better. I am going to point out the things that they did better because, in my opinion, your name was a was a 10 out of 10 movie it was structured very well structured the the osts really good osts in that movie um also the visuals i think that's the only area that i would say that they beat this movie in is visuals the visuals were amazing in your name this movie can't hold a candle to that. It's night and day. The animation is so much better in your name. It was it was um, I don't want to say it's more fluid um, because both were very fluid. It's just the visuals, the the the, the time that they took to um, surround these characters with the the, the city, the, the the everything. The visuals was just and it called for that. Your name called to have better visuals because they were portraying so much about environment too. You know what I'm saying? The difference between rural rural versus urban. You know what I'm saying? Tokyo versus I don't remember the other city. I don't remember the the the, the place where um Mitsuha was from. Wow, I remembered her name. <laughs> I can't believe I just remember her name. Her name was Mitsuha. Wow. I'm surprised. I just surprised myself. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, um, let's talk about a silent voice. I don't know if that's actually what the Japanese translation translates out to, but that's the what everybody know it as a silent voice. So let's talk about a silent voice. This movie was incredible. It was an incredible movie. It was worth every minute i sat down here and watched this movie every single minute um i found zero flaws with this movie again same thing as your name i didn't find any flaws other people did i didn't for me the reason why i'm saying this is a better movie than your name is because it is it is a more comprehensive story to follow you get what i'm trying to say we're as in you really had to really think about things when you were following your name right and the reason why i'm gonna do this comparison is because 
these movies on on like top 10 top 5 list of anime movies these two are always one and two so that's why i'm gonna gonna compare it and the reason why i think a silent voice should be number one in every on everybody's list and if you have not seen this movie god jesus whoa this movie came out what 2016 2017 i think so it's been a while um so let's talk about the individual aspects you know what i based it on visuals sound sound design and rewatchability now is this a movie that i would rewatch again yes a hundred times yes it is a movie that i would watch again but not by myself i would definitely watch this movie 10 20 a hundred times over with another person you get what i'm saying just to see how they would react to the movie you get what i'm saying just just seeing i know my my girl would be in a, a freaking bubbly mess <laughs> 10 minutes through this movie she would be crying her eyeballs out so um you know i'm speaking here from an objective point of view just talking about the things that they could have done better i probably would have dropped points for the visuals the videography the video the videography in this movie <laughs> right i would have dropped points but i won't because that wasn't the point of this movie the the, the animation were great the animation was great don't get me wrong but there wasn't a lot of moving parts in this movie there was a lot of them just standing still and, and talking so you know and little here flips here and there and stuff like that the flow and the fluidness was there um but as i said we're not on its own stand alone i'm not going to drop any points but if i compare it against your name i would drop a point give this a nine and give your name a 10 you get what i'm you get what i'm trying to say there so in its own right it's a 10 out of 10 animation because there wasn't much you know what i'm saying when it comes on to pretty visuals and stuff there wasn't that wasn't the point of this movie this movie was in my opinion um there wasn't a lot of um great like overwhelming sounds and rightly so because the type of movie it doesn't need any robust scores you know what i'm saying like it doesn't need any robust scores it just needs you to understand what's happening in the moment and they did a great job of that there wasn't any any sounds that were memorable like your name you know what i'm saying like there wasn't any sounds that really stood out where you were was like oh my god that ost was fire you know what i'm saying like there wasn't anything like that but they were very subtle and in the background they used the sound very well timing and everything when you hear sound when you don't hear sound moments that you need to hear it versus versus places where there's no sound need to be used i've talked about this you know on plenty of different videos that i've done on this channel about how you use sound especially especially with my um what do you call it especially with my when I do tribute videos where I talk about when, when I'm reacting to other channels that do like tribute videos for shows and stuff like that and how they use music and to give a shout out you know right now to Zurich 23M that I think he's unmatched when it comes on to to, to put in score to video you get what I'm saying um, so and that's just my personal opinion because I've been around you know what I'm saying audiovisual um, long enough over the years to um, to can tell you from a person that has done it on a professional level I can tell you that he does it very well and they did it very well here in this and it also goes with the theme of the movie it's a silent voice the whole you know being deaf you know what I'm saying it's just you don't need any of those robust loud osts or anything like that you know what i'm saying like it, it was just very subtle and in the background you know not really noticeable but when it does come on you know what i'm saying it's not interrupting you 
or anything like that and it was done in a perfect way so that's my situation on that now let's talk about the movie from a subjective point of view and how it affected me you guys saw my reaction throughout the entire video and I don't think I'm going to go back and try to edit this and edit this to put it on YouTube because I would love for you guys to watch my entire reaction on this because um, I think you should see my entire reaction towards this show I don't think it should be I don't think it should be chopped up I had a lot to say um, if you have not watched it, you're just watching the review. I had a lot to say during this movie. It pissed me off. It made me cry. It, it, it just... It, a lot of emotions. And I love when movies does do that for me. Because it helps me to see... To, to see where the author, the creator of the story... Really wanted from the audience. Of course, you're going to have some people who don't get emotional over this movie. And... You know what I'm saying? And for me, in the end, at the end of the movie, everybody kind of came together. And I think, hear this from me, the story, <laughs> the story for this show, bruh, let me tell you, when you talk about writing a perfect story, I don't know if, I don't know if, if they left out anything. I'm pretty sure there were scenes that they wanted to see and they cut out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how it goes in the movie industry. You know what I'm saying? For whatever you're creating, whether it's a movie, you know, you shot a bunch of stuff and then you choose what, you know, what would be the more comprehensive thing to put. I'm pretty sure they probably have a longer cut, maybe on the DVD or something like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's a longer cut. I don't know. But there's always something that is left out that, you know, you can add to it later for you know dvd releases and stuff like that i don't really know if they do that for anime movies but when you're talking about something that was perfectly done as in a story you know what i'm saying i can't find fault with anything that they've done in this movie the structure was great um you know was a little bit confusing at first of how they were doing the flashbacks but then when you when you caught on to what they were doing in the flashback showing and then starting basically where they started is where they ended you know in a way you know what i'm saying i'm glad they tacked on a little bit at the end there um and you heard me say like about i don't know if it's halfway or like three quarters of the way i was like this movie better not end with shoko committing suicide it's kind of like i saw it coming like that's where this that's where the story was heading i didn't want that to happen they did an excellent job of kind of pushing the, the, the storyline towards that but then kind of snatching it back and be like no that's not what we're doing okay so that was pretty cool i really like that i really like the fact that it didn't end like that because i would have been destroyed okay if that happened so in my opinion as i said before this is all my opinion they did an excellent job with the story the story the, the, the situation i think in my opinion this story was not about necessarily a romance but it was about friendship and as i stated i think it was my intro i was talking i was talking well, it wasn't my intro whatever i love how i think it was during the reaction i was talking about how japan differs from how american portrays friendship versus how japan portrays friendship and here we go again with another great adaptation of what i believe friendship should be i think they have a better concept on what friendship and how to build a friendship and what should be and what should surround it and all i think they have a better understanding of what it should be and i think america goes towards more of the more toxic behaviors and it comes on to friendship and how they portray it in their movies and stuff like that and it's not necessarily how americans operate it's just how they portray it in movies and stuff like that it just it's just very toxic and you know it just doesn't it just doesn't work you know what i'm saying and you know I, i've also spoke on the example of you know how that changed my perception of certain things when i was um younger with naruto you know what i'm saying and 
now here we are again with another greatly told friendship story i don't remember dude's name dude came in he was the day one you know what i'm saying uh yeah i'm saying and we always want that day one friendship you know what i'm saying and the reason why i say day one if you don't know what a day one is as i I refer to it a couple of times a day one friend right is somebody who's always there you know what i'm saying and sometimes sometimes the friendship is not even really acknowledged it's just that you just vibe so well that you don't that later down the line you're like are we friends you know know what i'm saying like and then you realize oh crap we were friends this whole time we were best friends this whole time we just never put a label on it you know what i'm saying so it's like and that's how friendship should be it should be an organic thing that just it just happens naturally without you even recognizing what it is you know what i'm saying you just know that this person is in your life you can depend on them you know what i'm saying and there were some characters here that i didn't like i didn't like their attitude especially no whatever her name is uh, um they call her nao chan right nao chan so she um i think her name is now uh, whatever her character kind of i kind of understood her character but at the same time you know she was trying to do better at the end so i'll give her that um in my opinion there was no need for them to try to redeem her character but they did anyways they didn't have to you get what i'm saying because in my opinion you have people like that you have people that grow up just with this hate in her heart and i think i think the main cause i think the main cause for her hate towards shoko was jealousy i think she liked she 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 really 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 liked ishida i think she really liked him and she just didn't know how to express that and then when she found out oh she, she's friends with the girls he, he used to bully like you know what i'm saying that kind of rubbed her the wrong way because sometimes you see actions that aren't supposed to be the way how you expect life is supposed to be and it messes with you and i think that's what happened to her she's like how is this even possible that's why she keeps calling it pretend friends you know what i'm saying so i think it messed with her so bad that she just couldn't come to terms that you know people can actually move forward with their lives you know and forgive and and move on i think it just messed with her and then when she saw how at the end there i love the fact that they made shoko you know be persistent in um making things right even though none of this was her fault she still accepted the responsibility um because she believed that it was her presence her literal presence she believed that her presence was the problem you know what i'm saying like she came in she interrupted everything because of her present that's her being her and she messed up them them being friends and all that she blamed herself that's why you know what i'm saying um she wanted to kill herself she, she it, it, it's just sad upon sad upon sadness and when none of this was her fault so i really do appreciate the fact that they went that far with the story to tell it i'm glad that this was a two-hour movie they didn't short change it to cut it down to no one hour 20 minutes this movie deserved to be two hours i enjoyed every minute of it every minute of it was well deserved one of the things that i don't talk about enough is the voice actors voice actors man they killed this movie especially the actress that did shoko's voice anytime we heard it um very good imitation of what somebody who can't really speak um very good portrayal of that um because when you do hear when people do talk they do talk funny when they're deaf when you're deaf and you can't hear yourself speak you do they talk funny um because sometimes sometimes people they're not dumb you know dumb as in the what dumb actually means which is you can't talk right you're not dumb sometimes when you are deaf you know it translate over to you being dumb you get what i'm saying it's usually like if somebody's deaf they're dumb also 
you get what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not talking about dumb in the stupid context of what you know what you know as we call people dumb and you're stupid. I'm talking about the literal meaning of what d- dumb is. So, um, why did I explain that twice? I don't know, but I guess y'all needed to hear it twice. <laughs> but in any case, this was an excellent movie. I don't want to keep talking here. I've been going on for 20 minutes. 10 out of the 10 movie. This movie was awesome. As I said, this movie was not necessarily about romance. I wanted to see them get together, though. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to see Shoko and Ishida really. Um, I think their friendship is going to bloom into something greater than just being. I think they could have a romantic relationship. Um, that's I, I, I wanted. That's how I wanted the show to end. But I don't mind that it end the way that it ended because, as I said, this was not about romance. I thought it was going to be, to be honest, it was about friendship, great friendship, like friendship beyond what you normally see. Um, and it was awesomely portrayed. I love it. I don't know, man. Japanese cinema just, they just, they know what to do, man. When it comes on to French, they know how to portray friendship. This is the kind of friendships that we need. We need. This is what we need. We don't need to see those toxic crappyola stuff that America be pushing around here. I and I'm just saying, they just don't portray friendship very well. And, and, and just saying, <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't know why I just paused there. But in any case, yes, I got interrupted. Uh, I think one time I got interrupted there, um, which is, you know great <laughs> you know but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this movie with me i really do appreciate y'all so i'll see you guys for next year for any more reactions on the channel next year before any of them come out but you guys we get to end the, the, the year on a great um note thank you guys so much merry christmas happy new year <laughs> all of that goody stuff anyways as you guys know, if you're watching this movie, watching this review, I'm going to be streaming um, from um, to, um, the 26th throughout the entire week until January 2nd. I'll be streaming every night. Um, so make sure you come through and check out those um, streams. We're going to be playing some games, talking, whatever the situation is. Whatever I decide to do that night, that's what we'll do. Anyways, thank you guys so much. A Silent Voice was brilliant. And the final verdict from me is that it is a better movie than Your Name. I'm sorry for all the Your Name fans out there who thought it was a better movie. I just believe that A Silent Voice was better. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, you know what I'm saying? It just is. For the, for the, there's just so many objective um, ways for me to break down and, te- and to tell you that it's a better movie. But... I can't do it on this review. If you guys want to see me go through every single objective points that I could make to tell you that a silent voice is better than your name, I'll do that. But if it's not, if you guys don't want to see that, then I won't do it. But in any case, see you guys next time. Make sure to like, make sure to comment. Terabyte out. Peace.